Just a bit, can we talk about these people who are young parents? Yes, and um, there's this behavior most young parents have. Do not talk to my child in Swahili because I'm only training them to speak English. First and foremost, where is the patriotism? We say we love our language, we're proud of the Swahili language, but then we associate it with poverty. Oh no, my child has got to speak English so that akwe anafanana na wanyo omenda group of schools. What behavior is this? Why are people doing this, honestly? I don't know. So many people take pride in their children being able to just articulate words, speak in English only. I see these videos on TikTok where you're like so surprised. Like, ah yeah, this kid can speak English. That's nice. And I you a vizuri. So what happens when they cannot be able to express themselves in Swahili? All right. English is very important because, yes, it's, uh, it's an official language. You speak English almost 40% of your time when you're working, stuff like that in school. Most subjects are taught in English. But then why are we making it sound like that should dominate our national language? Swahili is our national language. It's our heritage. If right now your forefathers wake up are they going to be proud of how you know you're raising your children to just speak this particular language don't forget it's a colonial language so <laughs> when you are out there just making sure your children are speaking english and you don't want them to speak swahili because well swahili is for people with lower status it's wrong and it's distasteful i don't know if you know this lady her name is daddy's girl daddy's girl is very very famous on tiktok she um often goes live with uh, you know people from different countries, particularly from countries that speak English. But she butchers that language, just like the way Diamond butchered it on that reality TV. She butchers it, and people are like, you know what, if you ask other people to speak our very own language, they will butcher it, so there's absolutely no problem. Tafadali, teach your children Swahili as well. So at Nisikuze Kuwa visit, you know what, um, the teacher told me that we're not supposed to speak to this kid in um, Swahili, it's just English only. Ah, come on. Can they count one mpaka ten? 